How did I get someone to date while I have Asperger's? Good question. I, I made a lot of mistakes. Like, I had a girlfriend and I was talking about this guy that I thought was hot a lot. And yeah, that didn't go over so good. But I dated two girls very briefly. And one of them, that was sort of one of the things that messed things up. Was that I didn't realize you're not supposed to tell a girl if you think a guy is hot. But, you know, whatever. It was my first girlfriend. Good trial run, I guess. Uh, second one was a slutty bitch she bitched out my mom on the phone and stuff she was doing weird stuff both were very short lived I didn't have sex with either of them however how do I find someone to date my advice for gay people do not go to gay sex sites I've done that and I I really think those are the kinds of people that you know you'll just see the one time just for sex and you know they might say they want to be your friend they don't really you'll probably not ever see them again or talk to them again um i do really like bars though and i especially like karaoke bars i love to sing i love to listen to other people sing it's a lot of fun the clubs it's another thing you know people just want to go there with their friends it's not really a good place to meet people i don't think but gay bars are great i love gay bars i would love to go to get more gay bars except i you know i have someone now and there's not really a reason much we don't, we don't have them where i live but anyway as if i was straight though what my advice to that person with asperger's and i've um I've said this before you go to the attraction forums and make an account in the attraction forums and there's also a book that i'd like to recommend i can't think of the name right now but it's a guy teaching another guy how to get girls I'll put that in the description when I remember it, and that's what I would do if I was straight. But as for gay people, I would say make sure that sex is special. Don't just give it away to just anybody. That's something I wish I did different because I was, you know, thirsty for experience. And you know, I had sex with a lot of people because I was craving that validation and someone liking me that way and stuff. And you just gotta just make it be special with someone that's worth it, you know. And just wait. You don't need that if it's not going to mean anything and I don't know I made a lot of mistakes I, I hung out with a lot of bad people I had two like turd boyfriends that were super insecure they needed to like lash out at me all the time and I had one Jehovah's Witness boyfriend try to kill himself and another one that was a total pothead and now I'm with like number five and that seems to be the one that I was supposed to be with and the others were just learning experiences <laughs> I think that it's important with Asperger's people not to ask too many questions you know ask in a way that doesn't interrupt like the flow of conversation they need to make sure that other people other people talk with their flow that they have and me not ask something and have the flow around me get messed up if it's a group that's one thing that I, if I have to ask a question that's off topic or something that was said before, like a while back, I need to make sure to ask that like later in case, you know, you're, you're dating and you're hanging out in groups. That was one mistake I made. I've also made the mistake of sharing too much information too fast. Um, like, oh, I trust this person. Uh, I can, I can share all this stuff. I used to be a lot more naive, a lot more trusting. I used to think, you know, innocent until proven guilty. Wrong. You gotta think the exact opposite. Guilty until proven innocent. Not everybody is a good secret keeper, and not everybody is gonna be at a place when they say they're gonna be at a place. You know, I would constantly be let down because I had these unrealistic expectations, so I would definitely be, you know, more skeptical, give people, look for proof that people are trustworthy, because I was too naive. It was one of the mistakes that I made, sharing too much information. What else? Don't have sex right away. Looking for someone to date, though. I just, I know that my personal advice that's worked for me is that you can't really look for someone and then find it. In my experience, when I look for it, you, you come across all the other people that are looking for it, that are desperate and need it for the wrong reasons, that are insecure, all this stuff. And my favorite friends, my favorite boyfriends, my favorite dates, my favorite experiences like that kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't looking for it when those people came into my life. Sometimes you just meet through friends or from some random encounter. One guy I met at a bus stop and and that was how we hit it off and I really liked him for that short time. Um, one guy I met because I knew I knew him from somewhere and couldn't figure it out and I later realized he was an extra in the movie Superbad and that's probably how I saw him and you know we dated for a while too. 
and he was at a bar. I needed to know what, where the hell do I know you from because I really had seen him in a movie. I would later figure out, but it's what he should have been telling people right away. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, there's all sorts of little nuances for how you learn what not to do in social stuff. But those are some some important things. Ask ask what you want to know more about.